Hello everyone, and welcome back to Prestige Reef. A couple of weeks ago, I challenged you all to get this channel back into the best condition it's ever been in, and together, we've done it. Because of this, I posted a video on Wednesday regarding a free giveaway I'm doing, so why not head over to that video later to join in the fun? This will be the last of the historic updates, as I'm now back in the UK. Therefore, the next video will be on the condition my tank was in when I got back home. This video is on a number of purchases I made prior to the holiday, and what I did to prepare the tank for my absence. Now I wouldn't usually purchase any new livestock prior to going away for such a long time, but sometimes something comes up, and you have to grab an opportunity when it presents itself to you. This was the case when I saw an advert for a convict tang for sale. Convict tangs are notoriously hard to keep long term, and sadly they often rapidly decline in health. It turns out a friend of a friend was thinking about shutting down his tank, and he was lucky enough to have had a convict tank which had been living in captivity for the last two years. I don't know if any of you have kept them yourselves, but let me know in the comment section your success and failures with them. If you have had success, how long for? When I went to pick up the convict tank, the person had sadly decided that the whole tank would be shut down, and I was lucky enough to be given first pick of some fantastic livestock. The first piece was this stunning red trachophilia with a green centre, followed by this green recordia rock, which just so happened to have some hitchhiker zoas. I've never been able to keep zoas before because I've always had an Asterina starfish issue. You get different types of these starfish, some are unsightly but harmless, while others can have a taste for different types of corals. I just so happened to be lucky enough to have the type which eats zoanthids. Rather surprisingly, these new hitchhiker zoas appear to be surviving, which suggests the addition of my harlequin shrimp a year and a half ago is starting to have an effect. These shrimp only eat starfish, so please only get one if you're willing to fulfil its dietary requirements. Sadly, people often buy them to eradicate a pest problem, only to have them starve once the food source has run out. This is counterproductive, because once the shrimp has died, there is a second explosion of starfish, and it's often a vicious cycle. Despite the fact my wallet was now crying, the final piece I took was probably by far the rarest. It was this jack o lantern Leptosiris. Now for my American viewers, this won't appear that rare, as this coral has been propagated for a while over there. However, this is the first piece I've ever seen in the flesh in the UK. The hobby is much larger in America, which means they have much more buying power. This means when something new and exciting is first collected from the ocean, it is often sent there first. That piece is then propagated on an industrial scale before it is eventually shipped over to the UK where we can start the process again. This piece is still far from being produced on an industrial scale here, therefore I purchased it in a hope that one day I'll be able to frag it myself to recover my costs. I've always tried to run the tank so that it pays for itself, and this is a very similar idea to what I've been doing with my other corals for years. I just grow, trade and then upgrade. The hobby doesn't have to cost you an extortionate amount, it just takes patience. Ironically, patience is exactly what you need to be good at this hobby as well. There was one other fish I got that week, which was a damselfish. Many people will probably have just leaned back in horror at the thought of me putting a damselfish in my reef tank, as some people think they are only good for one thing. I'm looking at you inappropriate reefer. However not all damsels are a nightmare. This is a starkey damselfish, and they are one of the few which won't make you want to feed them to a frogfish. They are more expensive than the average damselfish, usually around 7 times the price. However that is money well spent if you'd like to keep one, as this little guy has been a model citizen and his colours add a striking contrast to the tank. I did have some reservations with regards to the new additions. Firstly, adding any new corals is always a risk with my regal angel, and secondly, I wasn't sure how my powder blue would react to the convict tank. Although there is a lot of information out there that will tell you to only keep one tank per tank, I find this to be very outdated advice, and providing you know what you're doing, it can be done quite easily. After adding all the new additions, I breathed a sigh of relief to find that Lily my regal wasn't hungry, and the only issue I did run into was from my powder blue tang. She was a little bit too interested in the new convict tang, however this eventually died down after a couple of days. I might be moving her on soon, 
as I'm looking to have a big livestock change in the coming months, and I can't have her causing a fuss every time I want to add something new. It was now time to start preparing for my two months absence. This will be the longest time I've ever been away from the tank, so I really don't know how it will react. All I can do is do my best to prepare everything in advance. In the weeks before I left, I spent my time regularly testing the water and tuning in my dosing pumps to make sure everything is exactly as it should be. I meticulously cleaned all of the equipment and prepared everything my tank sitter would need while I was away. This included measuring out all the salt, buying additional supplies and mixing up an astonishing 30 litres of alkalinity solution. In addition to this, I printed out a full set of instructions and signed up to a water testing service to make things as easy as possible while I was away. That's it for today guys, you'll have to tune in to the next update to find out what did and didn't survive. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Have a good week and I'll see you next time.